So the first reason, and it may well be the number one reason why people can't forgive, is that nobody taught them how. How can you know how to forgive if nobody taught you how to forgive? People may have preached or moralised at you and told you you should forgive, but those who preach forgiveness usually don't teach forgiveness. And if nobody showed you a practical and specific way to forgive, how could you possibly know how to do it? Is forgiveness something you should know how to do automatically, like breathing? No, it doesn't seem to be. Look at the world around you. Is there any evidence that forgiveness comes to people as easily as breathing? Not really. There's not much sign of forgiveness being an everyday thing in most people's lives. Most people need to be taught how to forgive in order to be able to do it. The exception to this is people who are in such intense pain about something that was done to them that they cannot stand it any longer. They have to forgive in order to let go of the awful pain they're in. However, this is the same as pushing non-swimmers into some deep water. Sure, some of them will manage to swim, sort of, but all of them would benefit from a few lessons on how to swim. Similarly, firstly everyone can benefit from a few lessons on how to forgive. Being taught that we should forgive, but not being taught how to forgive, seems fairly common in many parts of the globe. To be taught that you should do something, and also be told that it's incredibly important that you do it, but then not how to do that thing makes people crazy. You were probably taught that you should forgive and that will make you a good person or you, you will even get a better place in heaven or have good karma or whatever if you forgive. Yet nobody took the time to teach you how. You might start to wonder, as I did, am I the only person who doesn't know how to forgive? And it may become your dark secret. You then start feeling guilt and shame about your inability to forgive. Think about what that is like for a person when the very thing that should set them free, forgiveness, becomes instead a source of guilt and shame. Instead of forgiveness freeing them, it binds them. It binds them to not feeling good enough. It binds them to low self-esteem. Somebody mentions forgiveness to them and they feel a twinge of guilt or feel a twinge of shame. I want to change the subject of the conversation. But it's not their fault they don't know how to forgive. This makes them prone to fear, guilt, shame and feeling unworthy. This also makes them prone to being manipulated by fear, guilt and shame and feeling unworthy. 